Spain sent Vasco Núñez de Balboa to cross what is now Panama in Central America. Upon crossing Panama, he became the first European to see the Pacific Ocean from the Americas. Ponce de Leon landed in what is now Florida and claimed it for Spain. He was actually the first Spaniard to set foot in the present-day United States. The quest for gold brought more explorers to new areas. Gold, gold, gold. Hernando Cortes landed on the east coast of what is now present-day Mexico. He encountered the native people of that area, the Aztecs, for the first time. Cortes and his army marched to Tenochtitlan, the Aztecs' capital city. Seeing the pagan practices of the Aztec people, Cortes thought they were savages. Within two years, his army had destroyed them. Because the Spanish had reached the Americas first, they believed they had rights to most of their land in the New World. Spanish explorers usually fell under two different categories. They were either conquerors, known as conquistadors, named so because of their great desire for gold and adventure, or they were missionaries who taught religion to others. They went to carry the message of Christianity to the natives. Spain still had not given up hope of finding a westerly water route to the Far East. So, in 1519, Spain sponsored Ferdinand Magellan, an explorer from Portugal, to find a route to Asia around or through the Americas. Magellan died on the voyage, but one of his ships completed the journey, arriving back in Spain in 1522. These men were the first people to ever sail around the world. Magellan proved that Asia could be reached by sailing west and that Christopher Columbus had indeed found a new continent. <laughs>